Mr. Shiv Parekh, founder, Edgebits. Thank you, everyone, for joining. You us. know, on the residential side, obviously, we've seen one of the lowest home loan interest rate uh, environments, as well as um, you know, support in certain state governments in terms of stamp duty cuts, uh, and as well as you know, developers realizing that. Um, have to offload inventory at this point in time, which has created a lot of good traction on the residential side of things. And what that's done is, uh, from a psychological perspective, to a home buyer uh, or a prospective home buyer, they realize that there's no better time to purchase if not today. Like prices are not going to go any lower. So that's what's created good momentum in the market on the on the residential side of things, and it's obviously expected to continue. Um, on the commercial side of um, commercial real estate side of things, again. Uh, there was a completely different perception, maybe at the start of the pandemic. That's obviously not proven out to be true. Um, in fact, even in the U.S., uh, which kind of guides the office market for the whole world, you have the the large five uh, tech companies, the Fang companies, your Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. All of them, you know, uh, as of now, uh, are moving back to office. I think a couple of them said that by March 28th they will move back to office. Um, and generally, what happens in the U.S. that that trickles down to the rest of the world. Um, in fact, in India, I think 50% of uh, office leasing is done by U.S. headquartered companies. Um, and so, when they start moving back to office in the U.S., slowly that comes uh, comes the mandate moves to India as well. Similarly, I think in uh, Q4 21, we've seen uh, 12 million dollar uh, sorry 12 million square feet of net absorption, uh, which is on track of uh, of pre-COVID levels. And similarly, on the ground, we're seeing a lot of traction in terms of uh, you know fresh leases being signed, uh, like Mr. Govindraj said. So I think it's a very very positive sign for commercial real estate, especially with uh, now the pandemic subsiding as well, and um, you know global uh, global markets moving towards back to office.